hang on. While we do that, very interesting sighting here. We've got a cocky Franklin calling. And this might be the same one that we saw earlier today, but yesterday, sorry. But they are actually... <gasps> I'm going to be quiet so we can hear him calling. This is the male. And there's another one in the distance that's responding. So just like the lions... Just like the lions were roaring, also birds are territorial and they have these beautiful songs to do, do just that, to advertise their territory in their particular <coughs> domain in an area. How cool is this? Beautiful. So there are quite a few that are responding in the distance, which just gives away the presence of a lot more all around us. Huh. Look at those beautiful feather pattern. It's very hard to hear the other ones responding, but maybe a hundred, hundred meters, fifty meters away from us, probably less. But when this one calls a few seconds afterwards, the other ones start responding. We might not be able to hear them because the wind is playing its tricks against us. Oh, hello, beautiful boy. You're gonna start again. Sorry, I don't want to talk because I don't want to disturb them and it's it's so rare that we actually get them to, to see them so nicely in the open and calling as well. Huh. Are you done now? <laughs> there was a female hanging around here but you can just make up their feathers every, every now and again. Oh, there she goes at the back. And very likely these guys are also starting to go into their mating season. It is spring after all, so it's the time of the year where love is up in the air and everywhere around. So I wonder if perhaps they're not going to have a little bit of a... Um, if they're going to have a nest somewhere around here, which would be very nice. Because we came around here yesterday and we saw them in the afternoon, so it's a good spot to start um, looking for them. It would be amazing if we get tiny little Franklins just running around in a few months' time. Yeah.